Oh, well, howdy, folks. How are y'all doing? Cub here, and welcome back to our Minecraft Be Happy Let's Play adventure. I'm still having a lot of fun here. Since you last left me, all I did was jack some more cobblestone, because I've got a little mission I want to take care of this episode. Now, I do not have... Oof. I've already turned in all the oak for that. Yeah, so I can go ahead and build a chest. I know that that's not probably the best use of our resources, but we do kind of sort of need one because we've got a lot of expensive gear on us that I'm not ready to lose. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys, uh, this is going to be the final episode that I'm recording before releasing all three of them. I'm recording them all in one session. I'm going to ask you guys one more time, would you mind if I turned on keep inventory because I'm not looking forward to falling off and losing everything. I know some people don't like it because it feels a bit cheaty. For me though, this isn't really about surviving. This is a let's play. It's it's fun. It's a learning experience for me. If you guys aren't comfortable with that, if you're like, hey, no cub, no, I won't do it. But if you don't mind, please let me know because I think that would be really useful. Now what we're gonna do here before we get started because I'm waiting on power to come in and hopefully charge this guy up so it finishes its progress here, and I think it's going to have to charge this one up first, and then after that it'll charge up the mutagen producer, although the mutagen producer is the one we need charged, so it can finish this task for crying out loud, get us some mutagen, darn it, we're going to let it keep going though, we're going to go down here, I'm going to try to patch this thing up so that items don't roll, uh, mm, well we're, I guess items are still going to roll down there, it won't be as big a safety risk though, like you won't be able to fall out of the world, I'm bringing with me some cobblestone and a quest book just in case this all goes downhill in a hurry. So we're going to keep a floating. We're going to build one device down. We're going to build another. And then we're going to swim back up. Look at this. This has gone well so far. Ooh, you know what we ought to do? This is our chance to build an entire second layer underneath. Okay, we need to take advantage of this while we've got it. Oh, no. See, I've done what I thought I was going to do. Oh, see, this has happened. No, not with all my cobblestone too. What? Why does this make sense? Oh no, no, this can't happen. Oh, okay. Well, that was both odd and terrifying. So it looks like we <laughs> we lost all of my cobblestone, but that's it. We we have another quest book inside of here, so we're good there. Maybe I should have left this one though, because we're down to one now. Oh man, okay, if I hit M, does that take me to maps? No, it does not. What opens up the map? Um, ooh, here we go. So this will create new waypoints. We don't want to do that. Surely we're close though to the map here. Oh gosh, here we go. We want to find waypoints. Delete, disable mapping, check for updates, save map, auto map. What is all this? Oh, oh, I did it again. Oh, no, I've done it again. And I threw an apple. And oh, I'm... Oh, jeez, I deserve this. And I deserve this as well. I don't deserve this, though. I don't deserve this. Why is this happening? What? 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 What, what is that? What is this? What is going on here? Come on now. Ah, okay. See, this is just ridiculous. How do I get rid of these? Ah, here we go. How do I how do I remove? Just like that. Okay, excellent. So for anyone else suffering through this, you just press J to bring up journey map and then click the flag that says waypoints. All right, well, we got that cleared up. Oh, man, how are we doing over here? We're pretty close to being full on power here. And this is starting to get... Ah, oh, darn it. Well, I'm glad I did put my tools over here. I'm going to just do some more cobble jacking because I've lost all my cobble. All right, we're going to use this to create some more cobblestone slabs as well as grab the slabs that we have left over. Leave our pickaxe here. Let's face it, this is probably going to go downhill in a hurry. We're going to attempt to go back down here, though. The reasoning here is I want to create like an, a, another layer underneath my current map so that I can use that layer to, I mean, with the water, it's going to be a bit annoying, but hopefully we can get this done. Hold on now. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to create it in the bottom layer so that mobs won't spawn. Not a problem. We're good. Okay, now it's just a matter of not dying, not building out from under. Okay, here we go. Just continuing to along the stream here. Just, you know, build a bit. 
Whoa. Kind of getting where I want to here. Just barely, sort of. Okay. There. Not perfect. Not perfect in the least. Because it's, it's nowhere near what I had envisioned. Also, if we had wanted to accomplish this, we could have just built off from here. We, we gotta go deeper. And now I'm stuck here. Fan flipping tastic. I, what am I saying? I'll just build my way out. Oh, sweet, it finished. Okay, good, we have a bit of mutagen. Apparently not enough. I bet you we need 10,000 millibuckets for this to really get going. So we'll let it finish up with that second piece. I'm going to continue to work on my little underworld project I've got going on here and see where that gets us. We've got plenty of slabs, so I guess we can just, I don't know, hope and pray for the best here. Oh, look at this. There's carpenter wedge slopes down here. Okay, so we could have broken the dirt this whole time, and it wouldn't have fallen. Well, that's good to know. We're going to go ahead and surround it, though, with some more slabs, because that'll make me feel safer. I think we've advanced enough down here. I think I've got a good enough footing that we can come back up here, quickly repair our pickaxe. Awesome. And then, how are we doing? Okay, we're getting there. This thing seems to require a lot of energy, which I guess we're not producing enough of with our th two level three solar panels. We're going to get our builder's wand, and again, being extra delicate with it, hop down here and expand some of this territory. Maybe not even from down there, because it's a bit dangerous down there, but if I could get a good angle at it from up here, that might be good. Excellent. Look at this. Cool. All right, I've got to bend over the edge a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and put our builder's wand back in here, and probably our pickaxe as well. Here we go. The, the true test here is if we're going to be able to get around here to put this piece down. Ooh, without getting knocked off the edge. Ah, oh, yes! And the water is no longer an issue. If I could get another piece back there too, that would be good. Although maybe I can just from the top. Hey, look at that. Wait! No! That's not what we want. Oh, hi, tree. Um, no oh wait, this is still flowing down. We don't, We might actually be fine on this. We can get more lava if we mess this up here, but I think it's worth a shot now. Perfect. Look at the, look, we're good to go now. The water's no longer an issue. We now have this cool underground area. We need to patch this up a bit. There we go. So when I accidentally fall off and going down here. Now we're using the term, term cool extremely loosely here. It's not that awesome, but it is a start. It's the start to the underlayer. So we can now get down here and get beneath things, and we, we've got our water trick, so if we need to, we can get down again, maybe beneath this dirt, although it doesn't look like we need to. We're going to very, very cautiously crawl back up here. We're going to get our mattock, which is our handy-dandy sort of universal tool heel here. It'll do anything. And I do mean anything, if by anything I mean trees and, and farming and, and dirt. Okay, here we go. Yes, look at this. Awesome. And delicately get our carpenter safe out and put something down there. How about... There we go, good. Put another block of dirt there and we'll plant another sapling on top once I find one. Ah, perfect. You're going to go right here. And we'll go back around the sides here. Now, this cobblestone is not at the right level to prevent mob spawning, but I'm okay with that. As long as we have enough light down here, it shouldn't be an issue. That's going to be an issue there. There we go. Fix that. This is all getting kind of messy. We'll worry about prettying it up in the future. For now, though, as long as it's functional, we'll, we'll, take, we'll take function over form for right now because we, we need to get things done. All right. It's the end of the day. You... You still haven't finished yet. You're you're getting there, though. It looks like we can put glowstone in there, redstone, or eulorium. Okay, cool. We've got eulorium in this pack. That's pretty neat. I've used that before in my Tech It Legends series. Currently, Tech It Texan is the current iteration of that. Now, I'm getting hungry, and we've got four apples. We need to stop throwing those over the side with us, though. That's not been good. I don't think we have a life limit on that. What? Okay, well, that finally happened. That took a while. I think we put... A piece of cobblestone slab on top of that, though, it'll prevent fires from forming on it because it it's only ever exposed from the outside, and I don't think lava is going to jump to the outside. Uh, do we need to be jacking right now? Probably not, but we are. Ah, 
Ah, it's done. It's got a lot of mutagen. Make the bee. Oh, apparently we didn't need that second batch of mutagen. Look how quickly this is gone. We have a common queen. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. The quest is finally completed. How do I make another one of these? On the off chance I throw it into the, uh... Okay, some glass. Uh, oh, wait, what? Oh, no, that's uses. Quest delivery system. A recipe. Book and string. Not sure how we get those up here, but you know what? I've got some wizard friends. If we get in a pinch, I'm sure they could give me a hand. So let's hop into here and see where we are at next. Now that we have... Our, yeah, that, that was... Oh, gosh, goodness gracious me. Genetics. All right, now you have a common queen. If you put it in an apiary, it will start producing combs and spare drones for you. But why? Because bees have characteristics. They have work. They can work at night in caves. They need specific types of flowers. And they have different fertilities. In this case, the common bee has fertility too. You can analyze it with a bee analyzer or bee analyzer. This means that you're breeding. When the bee finishes, it will give you two drones. And the princess, of course. If you want to get that characteristic, you'll need a genetic sampler. It will randomly take one of the 13 aspects of the bee, so you'll have one in 13 chances to get the aspect fertility too. Oh, good grief. In this quest, just analyze the bee that you get so you can see all the characteristics that it has. Then put it in the gene sampler, and it will give you an aspect of that bee. Don't worry about the aspect. Where did it go? Don't worry about the aspect that you get. You might get a very good one or one that is more common. When you start getting more bees, this will be able to get a massive amount of samples so you can modify bees to whatever you want. So I have to give turn in the mutagen, the producer, uh, the mutatron, and the common queen. Sorry, guys. You've been good times, but it looks like we are done. I don't think I'm... Am I supposed to put it... I don't have an apiary anymore. Did I not turn that in? I did turn it in. Looks like we're done with these guys. Sorry, fellas. You're, you're going to have to go now. And I'm assuming I'm breaking you correctly here. <gasps> Whoa! I just had a weird sensation that I should stand here and collect this thing. That was odd. I'm glad I thought of that, though. That could have ended very poorly for everybody. All right, we got both of those. We still have our common queen bee. So we'll go ahead and turn those in to the quest book. I say to the quest book. I mean, didn't, shouldn't we already have that? quest open so they'll give us a genetic sampler a blank gene sampler a diligent drone some honey draw okay that's good we'll claim the rewards awesome looks like we've unlocked a couple of other things an igneous extruder first off so we'll probably look at that next time let's start breeding question mark maybe we'll start whoa okay that's a bit nuts we'll come back to that one looks like we've completed genetics and we're moving on to genetics two where next, once you turn the genetic analyzer, I will give you all the things you need. Okay, so we have to get a genetic sampler. I believe we have one of those. I think we're supposed to use it first before we before we do anything else. So we'll plug it in. We'll let it get power, I assume. Does it need? Oh, well, you know what? We're probably out of juice because it's nighttime. But once it does get some power, it'll fill up. And then I guess we'll sample our diligent drone. Is that what we're meant to do? Analyze the bee that you get so you can see all the characters, then put it in the gene sampler, and it will give you the aspects of that bee. Great. So, yeah, that's what we'll do, and we'll do that next time. And again, next time is going to be the first episode that I've done since posting the first three episodes and getting y'all's feedback. So if you have any suggestions, any ideas, or things you want me to do, and you have any feedback on any of the questions that I've asked, please let me know. Now I'm going to do some serious cobblejacking because I noticed this quest wants me to have... This quest wants me to have 256 cobble, and maybe there's an easy way to do that. Maybe we're supposed to use the igneous extruder to do it, or something of that nature. Maybe our sawmill, redstone, fur furnace, and pulverizer that we haven't even hooked up yet. Who knows? We'll get to all that next time. Until then, thank you folks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider becoming an executive producer to sponsor the show. Just do that by joining my Patreon. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!